Well, this is a very, very interesting video. <laughs> Make sure you stick around until the end. I guarantee you will enjoy it. Welcome back to The Division 2. Have I got a video for you guys? I've been looking through the comments of my angry rant and a lot of you mentioned it's not just the Firefly that's causing the Memento to build up stacks randomly, like whenever you use the skill, regardless of enemies being there and dying or not. So I uh, might have a little something for those of you that want to build up your stacks fast. Do not use this in PvP, it's disgusting. So I'm going to stand out here, and apparently, if you even put your drone up, and then maybe destroy it. Oh yeah, kill confirmed. So, if I get Seeker Mines, because you have 10 Seekers, you can see the stack at the bottom. Drop the Seeker. It has 10 Mines in there. Oh, that didn't stack it. Maybe if it splits, do I have to target enemies with it? Apparently, I think you can use it in the shooting range. We'll have a look in a minute. So if I chuck this out. Oh my god, you are joking. Five kill confirms they didn't even die. Get my drone out. Call my drone back. See, it'd be faster to do that with the Firefly. Is there anything else to send out loads... You can fully build up your stacks before you go into a mission in PvE. Obviously, people are going to use this in PvP, but just don't. It's just, it's not fair. People are trying to go in there. Like, I've seen comments of people saying as soon as they get through the, uh, what are they called? The checkpoints. That's, that's the ones. As soon as people go through the checkpoints, there are just people spamming their fireflies all over the place. Let's have a look at what other skills. I wonder... If it works with a shield. Can you just get your shield out and put it back and... Let's have a look. Oh, these enemies don't like me. No, it doesn't work with the shield. Right, let's stand in here for a minute. So it works with the Seekers. The trap that splits... Why can't I equip it? What about... Maybe the hive? Why can I not change that shield? Oh no. Because it's still... Oh. Wait, is that done now? No, is that full? Oh, there you go. We... <laughs> We've just we've just encountered another bug in the game. So I, I've got the shield, yeah, I can get I can get the shield out. You can see it's full health and it's still trying to build up the health. What is that? Okay, so we go to the skills. And uh drone. No, nope, apparently it's still on cooldown. This the the skill in this slot cannot be changed as it's active or on cooldown. Okay, we're down in the shooting range. Let's go over to this area. No, it's still busted. Can't change it. I bet I'm, I bet I'm not allowed to change, am I? This loadout cannot be equipped since you're in combat. Well, I'm not in combat. What, what are you on about? So what about now? So that's, let me change my skills. So if I change back now. I obviously need to put Memento back on. So now can I run Seekers. Plus the Seekers. Trap. Yes, there we go. I fixed it. So the shield's bugged. Four. And it's actually, you can see underneath my ammo count, it's building up them stacks. It's not releasing the full amount of mines. That, that's the only problem. If 
So I've got four again. It doesn't look as though that's actually stacking. Oh, wait, yes, it is. That grey bar is building up. That's just mental. There was five that time. Look at my bar. I forget how long you get with that before it resets. Because I could just stand here, build that up, and then go into a mission with full stacks for the buff. I wonder if the Stinger Hive does it. I don't think it will. There was six that time. I don't know. I can't figure out what this is based on. Like, why this happens. Stinger Hive... I think it might be charges in the skill. Well, not charges. Like, the Seeker Mines. No, so you just get the one for that. The way the memento is supposed to work... It's supposed to work. You kill an enemy and then you pick up the tag off their body. No, this isn't even going to give the kill confirmed, no. Okay, so it turns out the Seekers are the best thing. I can't believe it happens with this, though. Look at this. Fix a drone. I'm going to keep building up my stacks for a sec. Watch this. Fix a drone. I'll wait until those come off the screen. But now they're gone. Cancel out the fixer drone. Kill confirmed. How the fuck does that work, Massive? Like, what have they done? Oh, they have badly broken this backpack, haven't they? This exotic is absolutely ruined. I can't believe it. Oh, well, I, I can believe it. It's Massive Entertainment. But, I mean, it's just so dodgy how that actually works. As I said, don't go and be a fucking dick and use it in the PvP. Just, if you're going into PvP, just, to, I'd like, get good, basically. If you're having to resort to using shit like that in PvP, then you're just a scrub. PvE, go ham. Do whatever you want. Like, my opinion, don't care. I use the damage glitch specifically in PvE. But when it comes to glitches, it is like hacking on Call of Duty. Like, hacking on Warzone, hacking on Fall Guys, and... All that dodgy stuff, just don't be sad. Have fun with it, where it doesn't affect another person's experience in a negative way. You're supposed to have fun on games. And doing PvE stuff, abusing this, <laughs> it's just... I can't believe they have messed up so badly. Like, what did they even do to the memento? Why are they touching the files for that backpack? Oh, massive, you are inept, incompetent, all the other words that just say you fucking suck. You have no ability to do anything. Well, I mean, you've got an ability to ruin things, you don't have an ability to do anything positively. But that's, that's me done. <laughs> if there's anything else that's funny and is broken, let me know in the comments and I'll take a look at it. But that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it.